everyone, it's Brittany with Redeemable Junk, and I'm coming to you guys today to show you this adorable, um, I'm not really sure what they call it, I've seen some call it a coordination, and I've seen some call it a folio, um, but you guys can leave in the comments what you would call it. I'm going to show you guys not only what I made, but also how to make it, and I'm not going to decorate the made when I show you how to make it, but I'm going to show you quickly how to make it. So I'm going to show you what this is, you open it up, and this plops down. And on the inside is an adorable journal, okay? I have a pocket here. The center is a pocket. Isn't that just darling? And then I have this cute little journal. I have a library card tucked in there. Over here I have a pocket with a journaling card that I made tucked in there. This is also a pocket. I just have some tickets stand or um, paper clipped on the side. I have another pocket over here, and that's the mini journal, and it just goes in there like that. This folds up. It's just super cute, and you wrap it up and fold it, and that's that. So, it's just super cute to gift somebody, I thought, and I thought it would make an adorable swap. So, I'm going to show you guys how to make it very quickly. I've already made this video once, but for some reason, my lighting on my camera kept dimming, and I... Got some of the measurements wrong, so we're going to re-record it and hope that it goes good. So what you're going to need is three pieces of paper. To start with, you're going to, this is just printer paper, and every time I put white on there, it goes dark. Watch. Light. Dark. I don't know why it's doing that. But anyways, you're going to keep the length of it long ways, okay, but you're going to cut it to six inches down. You're going to cut two pieces of paper that way. So when you cut them... You should have two pieces of paper that look like this. Next, what you're going to do is glue the two pieces of paper together. Okay. You want to make sure that you glue it straight because if you don't, your journal will be wonky. Next, what you're going to do, I know this looks super long, and you're thinking, what is she doing? But we're not keeping it this length. You're going to want to get out a longer measuring tape and go to 14 and 3 quarters. And that's where we're going to cut it. So 14 and 3 quarters. And we're going to cut that off. So I'm just going to go right over here to my cutter that's next to me instead of bringing it in frame. And it's important to have these measurements right, and I'm going to show you why, because we're going to do some scoring. And if you don't have the measurements right, the score lines will be different. But I'm sure you'll figure them out if you want to have it bigger or small, smaller. So next what we're going to do is we're going to score it at 4.5 inches and 5 inches from one end. And 4.5 inches and 5 inches from one end. So... We're going to score it at four and a half inches and five inches. That is our spine. And then we're going to do the same from the other side. Four and a half inches and five. And there's our spine to our journal. So we're going to fold those up. And you should have something that looks like this okay now's the time where you decorate this you're gonna decorate this if you want a pocket in the middle like I did you would glue construction paper to one side and when you get to the back side instead of gluing it you're gonna sew your pocket in or glue it in and leave it open after you have that decorated you're going to cut a piece of paper four and a half inches by five and three quarters or you can make it a little longer if you want. I did mine five and three quarters because I wanted it a little bit smaller than the top of the page. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to score again. This piece of paper is our hinge. Let me show you. So it's going to go right here. It's going to fold up. So we're going to want our hinge. We're going to make a score line at a quarter inch. Or you can make it larger. I just didn't want to glue a whole lot on. I didn't want a lot to be seen. 
and then three quarters. And that three, that half inch right here is your spine, okay? The bottom piece is what you're gluing on. So get this back out after it's decorated, of course. And you're just going to put glue on that bottom piece. And glue it on. And there you have it. And then what you do is you make your journal that goes in the middle. So what I did was you can decorate this piece after you put it on, or you can decorate this piece before you put it on. That's totally up to you. Um, and then what you do is you just make your journal and you just want it to fit in between here so it needs to be the proper size. So that was super duper easy. I not only did a flip through, but also a tutorial in under six minutes. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know that time is of the essence and you guys would rather be crafting than watching me do tutorials, I'm sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to like and comment the video on the video as that tremendously helps me out. I enjoy seeing your guys' comments. I know I haven't been making videos lately and I'm so sorry for that. But I plan to be making more soon. Things have been slowing down around here um, a little bit. So I plan to be making more soon. So I hope that you guys have a blessed and wonderful day.